it is important that we debate the impact of COVID-19 on our economy, but also it's important to note, Honorable Katuntu, that there are urgent things that we must do to fight the spread of this virus. For example, yes, for example, the Minister of Health who was here, the materials that they have in stock, Madam Speaker, the gloves, and of course they are not enough for the whole country, even the little they have is going to get exhausted within one and a half weeks. So we must balance. Yes, we have to look at the impact of the economy, but at the same time, we need money to do things now, not later. We need, I don't, we need fewer. I, I, okay, so, thank you very so, much for the so information. That's the information I'm giving you. Thank you very much for the All I don't see any contradiction. What you are saying is you need the money. What we are saying, what do you need this money for? And what do you intend to do? Then from there, you can say, this particular amount, we need it now. This one, we might need it in the mid or in the near future. That's what we are asking. So, right honorable speaker, may I therefore request... For allowing me to give this piece of information. The sectors that who's, who presented this budget to the Prime Minister's committee, which is coordinating the fight against this disease, they must give detailed, and let me repeat that one, they must give detailed indications where they want to spend the money before we disperse the money. If you allowed me, when we come tomorrow, I hope they are finished, then I will come and tell you, this one, this is going to be spent like this, like this. Then you will take a decision on the ground of that. That point about point number two, I want you to apologize to this house. You know me, when I commit a sin, I admit it. I agreed when I came and made the other statement to tell you what the impact on the, 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 this virus is, is having on the economy. I said I would come back on Thursday. I could not come back on Thursday because we had to agree as a government which way to go. And you remember I told you, I said I would have to go to cabinet first of all to give the cabinet, to get cabinet approval of the steps that government, or at least my minister would propose, the steps that government needs to take in order to ameliorate the damage that this virus is doing to our economy. So it was because of that process of going to cabinet, that's what delayed me, and the Prime Minister is here. It delayed me because there are also other very important issues, including the battle, I mean the, the war against this virus. That's why I was not able to come back on Saturday, Madam and the colleagues. Thank you but very I much. I am ready tomorrow. I am ready tomorrow. The paper is ready. Yes. I will come and submit it if I am allowed to do so. By the Thank speaker. you very much. I thank you particularly. In circumstances like these, sometimes people who are not very good mannered take advantage. So the only chance this country has is to have a parliament sitting every day to oversee what is going on. That's the only chance we do have. So I would therefore suggest, and I agree with the Honourable Matia Kasaija, one, that he first comes back tomorrow, right Honourable Speaker, if it may please you, and he briefs us on what he had promised, after we have debated and contributed ideas as a country, then we can look at the supplementary. It would be neater, and let's do the first thing first. We know there is a crisis, but not let us rush in a very, very untidy manner. So I do. Okay.
pray right on the speaker. Okay. Thank you, honourable members. That uh, give us the right information, and our committee will also uh, take time to uh, scrutinise and then give us a report. We shall try to do all the work during the course of this week. Now, honourable members, you listen. Why? Why don't you want to hear our make a presentation? <laughs> One forty eight two and one forty eight four. I'm asking that these rules be suspended to enable the expedition processing of the budget. Right Honorable Speaker, we need to circumvent the provisions of our rules so that the Budget Committee considers the budget directly and avoid the sectoral committees, uh, committee processes. Madam Speaker, under Rule 7 and Rule 8 of our rules, you, uh, you have the authority, Madam Speaker, by virtue of these rules, also to suspend. So, Madam Speaker, I beg to move. Members, seconded? Is it seconded? Seconded by several members. Up to 15, there will be of May, that is one 45 days, social committees will be working. Madam, Madam Speaker, we want really plead for your indulgence. These committees of parliament, the social committees, play a big role. Committee, the budget committee consists of 35 members. 40, 30. And the 30 members cannot know each sector in detail. And Madam Speaker, since you don't want cars here, which we all agree, we would allow the sectoral committees themselves in their own way look at these ministerial statements and the budget in detail on their own. We give them a deadline on which to submit to the budget committee. Because they have understood the sector very well, they will make better comments than the budget committee itself. Okay, okay, okay. 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 let me start with my brother there, then I'll give it to you. Uh, thank you, Honorable Mafal, my brother. I think when you look at the process of the budget, Madam Speaker, which was put in the Public Finance Management Act, it was through the experience of budgeting we go through. For instance, a budget of any country is a projection of income and expenditure. If tax measures If we the income, the income of a country today, as we talk now, the economic base where we earn money is eroded. And when you bring a policy of a tax measure where you are going to make a projection of figures where you are going to pass a budget, you need time. You need to collect data. As we talk today, Minister of Finance, you can, you can really know where you are. From the last, quarter, the last quarter, you've lost 1.5 trillion not collected. You are suspending the rules today to make a projection of a tax policy where you are going to get income to support your budget. What data do you have now? to base that you process and suspend the rules that you go through the budget process. For me, I would, I would agree with Honorary Mafad. Let's look at the sectors which are critical. And then we go with the figures. With you, with the collected data. If we pass a budget which is not practical, you will not achieve what you want. 
as it is, they achievement. Now, on a the proposal you are making, we are not short, short circuiting the procedures of uh, preparing the budget, but we are we are adjusting. We are adjusting. We are adjusting on the way we do it, largely because of the circumstances we find ourselves in, and also too, if I heard you well, right honourable speaker, in a way we are we are complying with some of the directives that are limiting the number of meetings of people. Right honourable speaker, our rules of procedure, I think under Rule 8, empower you. Uh, uh, yeah, seven and eight, but largely eight would empower you to give the guideline, the guidance that you would like us to follow during the meetings to prepare the budget without suspending any rules. Because, for example, rule eight, the, the procedure in case not provided for, uh, for and precedence. This empowers you, well, right honorable speaker, that you can guide, given the current setting of the corona epidemic. We can follow through A, B, C, because it, it, has not been, it has not been there before, but now that it is here, you can guide f under, under this rule, I think, without necessarily going through suspension of the rules. Okay, I can take the information. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. In the situations we are in now, right honorable speaker, under Rule 8, and looking at our Bill of Rights under the Constitution, right from Article 20 to Article 45. When you analyze them very well, right honorable speaker, life first. In these tough situations, right honorable speaker, we have to take the extraordinary measures to address the situation. If the budget cycle, the budget cycle under normal situations, as my colleagues are proposing, is supposed to be followed that way, we are only left with two options. One is either to suspend the budget cycle, and two, we either take the dis or we take the disruptive measures. Of those two options, right, honourable speaker, I want to propose that we carry the disruptive measures to address the current situation. Thank you, honourable, honourable colleague, for giving way. You can proceed. Right, honourable speaker, I am convinced. I'm convinced that Rule Eight. Because, you see, the corona, the, corona, the corona crisis is not an epidemic in Uganda. It's a pandemic. The whole world is going through the same circumstances we are going through. This rule, right honorable speaker, to me, would empower you to give the guidelines you are giving in the way in which the committee shall sit and process the budget and then have it presented and then it can be, it, it can, it can be passed. Thank you, Right Honourable Speaker. Now, operating in normal circumstances. We cannot afford to be here every day or every week. We must stay here as short as possible, but I thought we should complete our constitutional obligations to work on the budget. So, all our members, that is the position. We shall work on the budget within two weeks. You have now got the... You can have one meeting of each sector before you hand over to the budget. budget. But the question still remains, which budget? Madam Speaker, I would even have expected that even as we talk now, government would even, would even be freezing the fourth quarter release. So, so that when we're talking about spend, government spending any money, it is in respect of addressing the crisis as is. Right, Mr. Speaker, because of the challenge we are going to have, even the, 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 the budget... Honourable... Well, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Member. That will what, be what you tell the minister tomorrow yes. when he comes. That I'm, I, I'm that you suspend everything. It's premature. Right, Mr. Speaker, the same day should I apply even to, to the budget? Yes, we're talking Please, about. Can the question?